Howdy everyone. Guess where we are? Down the creek. Not underground. Isn't that a change? So we're out at one of our uh, little alluvial creeks here. One of our little camps we normally come to. We've got everything nicely set up already. And we're taking this new but old piece of machinery out for a first run, I suppose you could call it. So what we've got here is a 14 inch trommel. Locally Australian made, about 100 k's from where I currently am, the bloke makes them. Absolutely awesome pieces of equipment. Got the genuine Honda GXH50 on there, reduction gearbox, chain drive, a few little caster wheels, keep the trommel in its place. It's an absolute little perler. The sluice can be set up on either side of it so it can run wherever you need it. Obviously it's got adjustable legs and everything like that so you can pretty much adapt it to any, um, any environment. Just give you a quick look inside. So I haven't unloaded it yet. We got here last night and you know set everything up. Today Katie and I have been doing lots of test panning um, and I reckon I found a couple of spots that, are, that it'll be okay. I would have sunk about 50 pans already. So what I'm actually looking for is I'm up high in the banks, looking for the old timers digs and spots that they missed. So anywhere where they've left me a bit of a, a vertical face to dig at is what I'm chasing because a vertical face is really nice and easy to work. I can scrape it down, pick it out, scrape it down into a bucket and tip it straight into the trommel. The trommel's got, um, I think 20 or 30 meters of lay flat hose there and a Chinese hunk of junk pump um, while I get my good Honda fixed. So I can pretty much put it anywhere. So that's what we're chasing today. So far I haven't had a lot of luck um, right the way across all these digs. I've done about another two or 300 meters further upstream, but I have actually found a couple of um, interesting looking prospects further downstream. So I'm just gonna grab my um, pan and the Pelican pick and maybe a shovel and I'll go and do a couple more pans and decide exactly where I'm gonna put this big rig. I'm very excited to use it because, I mean, I haven't used this thing in over 10 years, so it's, it's gonna be great to have it going again. I'm also a lot fitter and stronger than I was back then. Um, so I reckon I'll be able to hammer through a fair bit of material and should be able to make it pay pretty well if we're in the right spot and we're thorough with our testing. So yeah, I'll grab the pan, we'll head down and I'll show you what I'm looking at at the moment. As I've mentioned in some of my recent hard rock videos, we've had a hell of a lot of rain here. This little creek normally is barely a trickle. Now it's flowing better than our main rivers in the district do. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a great time to be out doing alluvial stuff, especially seeing as a lot of the ground high and dry is um, quite water soaked because we've just had that much rain. So it means all those real dark red clays and such that you normally pretty much can't break up or work are pretty, pretty soaked at the moment. You can actually break them up reasonably easy. So that's what we're gonna be chasing. But I mean, just thought I'd quickly, before we head for a pan, show you how beautiful this creek looks. Awesome, just so awesome to be lucky enough to be out here doing this. High and dry from the creek. But that's okay, it doesn't bother us. It's got some nice coloured gravels and such in here. And they haven't really done a lot of digging on this side of the creek. I mean, they've worked. You can see they've worked the hell out of it. They might have done bloody thousand tonnes out of here. But they haven't taken it a long way in and I can still see a lot of gravel right the way through the banks. Old Mr Wombat there would give us a pretty good sample from deeper underground there. I'll try this one as well. A bit whiter in colour than the mud from that last sample that I just did. I'm sure this camera angle is going to be overexposed. Joking. We've just got one, two, three, four, five colors in that one. 
But have a look at this nice coarse reefy bit. Hopefully that's in frame, but he's pretty cool. Mr. Wombat's already done the hard work for us here. And although a lot of that looks a little bit sandy, I can still see a little bit of little bit of um, gravel and stuff in it. Oh yeah, we've got some nice decomposing rock in there. Some reds and greys. I like the look of that. Been using a shovel long. So that's, that'll be our first pan. Our next pan, I reckon we'll grab from a little bit further down this way. Fair colour difference between the two. Let's go have a try. for the swish, swish of the first pan. We got one, two. Is that it? Yeah, just two little colours. Alright, well, it's gold, but it's not amazing. Add it to the collection anyway. Ooh, have a look at that. Jeez, that's all right, guys. We've got about 10 little colors there. I'll switch the uh, camera over. Not bad, my dudes. All right, so the Master Chief here. She's already got a bit with the SDC. Hey. I was gonna say 0.25 quarter. Yeah, we'll call it a quarter. -y. What a nice piece, honey. He's got character. Mm. Twisty. Twisty. Twisted. Well done. Isn't it? Proudly sponsored by Grappers. As I was just filling up then, Katie's come over. She's done another test pan from a different spot on that same bank. Have a go at that. Put the water over it, it'd be better, yeah? You're joking how good that is. Hang on, no, it's actually pretty good. Oh. Wow. Good job, honey. Katie just did another pan there for another nine colors. Another nine colors and poor exposure. Very good. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Grappy's Gold Buyers. You've heard me bang on about them enough. I need not say any more. Had I have known I was going to set the trommel up downstream from camp, I would have parked the trailer over there, a bit closer. But I had every belief that I was going to be working in some diggings about 100 metres upstream from here. So, there you go. 
four wheel drive trommel. You're just taking a shit on the track, you dirty bastard. I strongly urge everyone to buy a decent pump. <laughs> but hey, I've still got a few of these laying around and people keep giving them to me as well. So I keep pulling parts off one and sticking it on another one and then it breaks and then I fix it. I mean, this one's siliconed up and all sorts of things. But it does, um, it does keep going. Drain the fuel bowl for the carby and keep the fuel tank clean so it doesn't start rusting. And you do get a fair while out of them. But it doesn't start like a genuine Honda, that's for sure. Maybe it does. water coming down over this. Two. Definitely looking better. But I need a little bit more water pressure. Well, it's nearly dark. We're finally ready to go.
Right, -o. so here's where we're up to at the moment. I got 10 buckets out of here last night, and then I did a clean up. So from those 10 buckets, I got 0.13 of a gram. Um, so per bucket it is 0 0.013 per gram, about a dollar and nine cents per bucket. So not too bad, but could be a lot better of course. Starting to get into some nice clay looking stuff down here. Got some really rusty looking crap up the top there, but it, um, the test pan I did didn't seem to have much gold in it. It was better down deeper. So I mean we've got an absolute bucket load of material here to work, so we'll just um, we'll just hammer out as many buckets as we can, I suppose. All right, let's fire up the big rig. Right, oh, so that's my first little run of the day done. 20 buckets. Now you'll see down in here as well, all their different layers. Rusty looking crap that didn't seem to have much in it, but looks really, really nice. We've got some sort of silty shit. And then larger boulders on the bottom, moving down to a few rusty pieces and decomposing clay and um, shale and that sort of stuff. So that down in there is looking real good. So, for those of you that are interested in the math, um, I started at 20 to 10, and I went until 10 past 10, and I did 20 buckets. So yeah, took me 30 minutes to do 20 buckets. So that's um, 40 buckets an hour, which is actually pretty good. Which means, so 0.52 grams an hour based on the the first test run that I did is what I'm running if I'm getting around about that 40 buckets an hour mark. So, pretty happy with that. Now, I've pulled out the top little rubber stuff and I did see a couple of little speckles of gold. So, light's never our friend in this case, but yeah, I mean, you guys can see it. There's plenty of little pieces in there, so. And this one looks alright too. It's quite a nice little flake. That's the first chunky bit that I've got so far out of here. But yeah, heaps and heaps of little fine stuff. And of course, because I took this black stuff out of up there, um, a lot of it just would have washed down into the blue mat here. So, excellent start. I'm very happy with that. Let's hope there's some more chunky pieces coming. Quite a few up along the side here. Heaps up the back. I just noticed too that I'm due to kick a few of these tailings, um, or the oversized tailings out of the way. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at them while I'm here. They've been hosed down pretty well, but I mean, I can still see, I don't know. See, that's a little lump of clay. That's a little lump of clay. I mean, that hasn't been washed very well there. A lot of it's pretty good, but it could be better. So I'm going to try a couple of other things here. I'm going to tip the actual trommel a little bit like that. Um, and that way I'll be able to have the spray bars facing a bit further downwards instead of towards the side. Because shooting a lot of water and shit over the top as well. So maybe I just need to tip the whole thing that way a bit. So that the material will um, spend a bit more time in the bottom. So I'll try that, see whether that makes a difference, but I mean, yeah, for our second little run, it's looking pretty good so far. Really happy.
Let's just grab a little test pan out of this. Nice little clay stuff on the bottom. Gotta give that a run. Yeah, well, just one, two, three, four, five, six. And three of those are micros, three are specs. This trip has um, come to a close. This is the hole that we ended up with. It ended up being 110 buckets. I'm hoping for a return of about a gram and a half. I was hoping that it, um, at some point there we'd hit some better ground, but we just didn't quite seem to break into any. So, but that's all right. It's, um, it's still got plenty of other spots along this straight that we can have a play with as well. So, no biggie. We just got absolutely hammered on with rain, so the hole's now full of water and the creek's flooding. Had to pull the pump out and just starting to pack everything up now. So, bummer. <laughs> it was a really good storm. So yeah, I'll um, pan out the concentrates tonight while I'm sitting around the fire and we'll see what we end up with. Pretty excited to find out. Get ready for it. Oh, joking, 0.28. That means I beat you, Katie. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not a bad result overall, is it? So 1.67 grams um, from 110 buckets. That gives us about $1.27 per bucket. So for a first run of getting the trommel back after a 10-year break, I think that's pretty good. I've made some serious changes to it now. Um, so get ready for the next video because it's going to be even better. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everyone's ears. Cheers.